The jump to the wall here, and today we've got a saving a disaster battle playing as the disciples of Hashut going up against Karaza Karak. Drazwath, the Ashen, is commanding a mixed unit army. There's a fair few Kadai units, which that's good because he boosts them a fair bit. And they've got quite a good number of Hellforge unit upgrades. So we've got a very strong army here for sure. But the enemy forces coming at us, they're also very strong. We've got two full stacks coming at us. Thunder barges are going to be kind of difficult to deal with because we really lack missile units here. But if we can get these guys close enough, they should have enough ammunition to take them out, especially considering the Infernal Castellans can restore their ammo. But it's really just about, can we get close enough to them in order to shoot them down? Drazwath the could technically get into melee with them and try to take them out, but that'll just make him a sitting duck for all their other missile units. They have massive missile superiority here. So I'm going to start up the battle, read out the email, and see what we can do. So the guy says, Hello Legend, I got into a disaster battle while playing as the Disciples of Hashut. I've got an army commanded by Drazowath going up against two full stacks of heavy Darby forces, including four Thunderboard, uh, Thunder Barges and Thorgrim. I've got no artillery and mostly melee monsters and infantry. Can't see a way to win it. Their forces are superior in number and stronger. Okay, well... Just need to use tactics then. You mean choose? No. So, they... The big problem here is missile superiority that they have. So we need to do the best that we can to deny them that. What I want to be doing is trying to fight in the forest. Because that will mean a lot of their shots will just hit trees. Basically providing us with additional shields. But also, it'll hide us so that they can't shoot us until they're at point, point blank range. So we want to try to get back there. And also use... Drazoath as much as we possibly can to um, to harass them. Now, we can't be standing still with him because the moment we stand still, he, he just dies. They've got way too many missile units. And he doesn't have any source of uh, regeneration apart from his barrier. So, what we want to do here, I don't need to be hidden at the start. I need to be moving back over here. It's just that there was tree acne in this spot here. This is a very small map. Most of the maps in the Darklands are excruciatingly small. I actually really hate the maps in the Darklands. I think they're some of the worst in the game, in my opinion. But it is what it is. That's where we are. All right. So these ones move back. I'll reorganize them in a moment. I just need to get going. Okay, so we've got Trollhammer Torpedoes coming at us straight away. These are flaming attacks, so they're not going to be that dangerous to Drazoath. Okay, they're shooting at him like crazy to begin with. We don't have tons of Winds of Magic. I think we should just use the Flames of Asgore. Like, you could use Ash Storm to increase their weaknesses to fire, but, I mean, that spell literally costs more than the, um, Get them can slow down. Uh, then the the flames of Asgore. Plus, we've already yeah we're getting loads of spell intensity as we get kills, so we don't really need to increase their weaknesses to fire. Careful, careful, careful. Okay, it's okay if we take a bit of damage. We definitely don't want to be popping down this one here. I think that'd be a big mistake because that leaves us very vulnerable. Okay, so these ones here. Don't fire it, we'll just stay back. You guys over here, get in over this way. The fuck? Did you just see that shit? If we could just teleport it over here. Um, be careful because they can still use their... Oh god. Their Spear of Grogmi on us. If we're moving around this way, it'd be easier to dodge it. Whoa. Did you see that shit? <laughs> okay, I think they've used up three of them. Okay, got some guys here not hidden. Just move back over there. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Yeah. If we can keep their missile units tied down over here, and maybe if we can keep their thunder barges tied down over here, just have a smaller portion of their forces hit the front line. Okay, that should be all of the the spear of Grugnies. Those are the things that I'm most concerned about. And 
this. We've still got the Troll Hammer Torpedo, but we got loads of resistance against that. So, so far, just out 21,000 damage with plenty of reserves left. That's good. But yeah, they are just doing a massive rush towards us. Alright, I would love to pop down the Doom of Hushud on these guys here, but I'm pretty sure they'll dodge it. I just don't think we're going to get a better opportunity than right now, I think. Oh, maybe they won't dodge it. Yeah, they didn't really dodge that. All the bad guys hidden. Yeah, making them hidden just makes it so that they have to get in close range in order to, uh, to actually um, shoot us. If we can get all their artillery together... Uh, yeah. Grudge out. Grudges over these guys. Honestly, still pretty happy with how this has gone to begin with. I think Slayers are going to be a problem, especially for these guys, so taking them out wherever we can is going to be good. I know that these guys here are quite strong against fire, but I'm mainly just trying to hit the guys behind them. And honestly, any damage we can do on them as well is good. If I can get them to shoot their own troops, that could be good. Like, but Legend, that's cheese. <laughs> Don't actually, don't actually land. No! Okay. Good. Yeah, the Thunder Barges are ignoring us now. So we've done 31,000 damage. Pretty good. Just going for high value targets. Okay, so this one here, should we start using that? Yeah, organ guns, that seems like a pretty good target. Let's pop that down. Yep, take that out as quickly as I can. Plus, that might give Drowsawath just a moment of reprieve from them attacking us. Okay, that organ gun's actually been uh, neutralized because they dropped the artillery. They never put them back onto it, as far as I've seen. Storgrim. See, I'd totally go into melee with them if they weren't trying to kill me so much. Why are they so mean? What do I ever do to them? Cool, they're dropping all their bombs on them, that's great. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, now done 44,000 in damage. We didn't take out the Grudge Settler, Grudge Thrower, though. Probably dodge it, but I don't really want to be doing that while in the thick of the battle, so I'll just do it now. And we still did some damage with it. So we have used our stuff. Still got a bit of magic. Might just stay away from the Thunder Barges. I just don't think Drowsalwath's got what it takes to take it out, in this situation at least. If we weren't getting shot by all these bloody guns, it'd be a different story. Yeah, if we can get some of their units to chase after us backwards, that'd be great. But when we're on the ground, we take... Uh, we're not as quick, so we end up taking more damage. They're kind of spreading out, which is good. Kind of. Moving really slow, because, yeah, they're moving with their artillery. Take out whatever we can. How much damage have these done to us? I think a fair bit. Problem is, I just can't get into melee with them and actually catch them. Oh, they may have done that damage to the summon as well. So it wasn't all done to Drowsalwath. Okay, that's, that's good. Taking out guns is definitely going to be useful. Legend, you clearly missed. Now, you want to be aiming where they're going to be, not where they are. Which... That was alright. It wasn't fantastic. Uh, oh, they're using their thunder burners, these fucking morons. <laughs> oh, if I get into... Okay, alright, if I get into melee with them, they'll, they'll use up their thunder burners, and they don't turn it off. 
Right. Gotcha. Yeah, okay, that is good. I didn't even think to do that. I did that by accident. Stop suppressing me, I need to move fast. Legend, increase your melee defense against the missiles. Oh, they, that actually did turn it off. But still, that's in a really weakened state now. Okay, let's bring these guys up a bit. Don't, don't go in here. That's a trap. That is not a dangerous unit to us right now. Oh, God, we are really low on health. Um, I'll pop that down there. Did they do it? Yeah, they, yeah, look, they did it. Oh, man, should have done that right from the start. Yeah, the longer they have that in, the better. Let's get over here. Oh my god, we're running on fumes. Okay, that's fine. I know these guys aren't on fire at will. Just wait. Mm, not doing it. Okay, that's it. Yeah, we want them to come in over here. That's it. Alright. When they commit a little bit more, we'll move these guys around. Try to flank them. No, they're not, they're not taking the bait with this one. Alright. Let's get those gunners if we can. Oh, God. We're low on health. I think that was a bit better, that one. This is fine. Okay, and we can debuff them with this. Make sure these guys are close by so they've got... Ooh, okay, those flame attacks. Well, we do have... Actually, that's not so bad. Okay, start moving out this way. They're already starting to shoot at us. All right, these ones... Okay, just stay there. Obviously, we shooting through the forest as well is going to cause us to miss a lot of shots. But we don't need to hit that many in order to kill this one. And it's within range. Go for it. Make sure they're on guard mode. So these ones here go around now. Do a bit of a flanky maneuver. Okay, that's it. Debuff them where we can. I'd love to pop this down on them as well. Come on, we're doing it? Shoot them. Because, yeah, our guys are taking damage real bloody fast. Okay, take it around this way. Good. Got rid of that one. Another one over here that is still got its thunder burner on. This one doesn't. So that's... Really good amount of damage. Bring him in. Guys, worth trying to pull him back. Okay, and you, you go in and fight heroes. These two, I gotta pull them back fairly soon. That's three gone. Get yeah, get rid of these gyro bomber troll hammers, would you? That's it. Get in there. We want to be neutralizing the missile units. This is why we want to wait for their main line to to commit so that their missile units were vulnerable. So you don't use your monsters at the beginning. Looking at you, Hannibal. <laughs> Come on, can you guys get out of there? Okay, where is there a good spot in here for this? Okay, that's really just to disrupt that unit, if nothing else. Okay. Can we shoot this one? Looks like we took out the gyrocopters, so that's good. Not too worried about the gyro bombers because their damage output's not super high. Okay, make sure we keep doing this. Any bits of debuffing we can do to them. Stay in reserve. Just catapults, not that big of a deal. Not that big of a deal. You might as well have just called them short. And we've army lost them. Nice. Don't let this one here get away. And also don't let Thorgrim get away. There's a Slayer Lord in here. Oh, God, these guys here are in bad shape. Move them back. We actually got a lot of value out of the the Infernal Guard Fireglaives. Like, they took out three out of four of the, the Thunderbarges here. 
Right, let's send Drazwath to come and help with this. We could use the Curse of Hashur. It's not going to do a lot of damage, but it's better than nothing. We've got these guys. Oh, I see what's happening here. Oh, going after him. It's okay, the Fire Glaive is all out. Okay. Well, no units got wiped out, which is always a plus. But yeah, you can see how fighting in the forest here, it definitely made a, a big difference in terms of mitigating their missile attacks. Again, it wasn't about hiding, it was about providing ourselves with some cover. Okay, you're getting your ass handed there. What's going on with you? Instead of shit. A couple of slaves here that just won't finish off. So it took a lot of damage, but not that many casualties, so they'll hopefully not take too long to recover. Alright, cool. I'll just pause the recording as I run down as many of them as I can. Okay, just about to finish off Thorgrim there, and I think most of these other units we're not going to be able to catch, because the map's pretty small and our guys aren't that quick. So yeah, could have pulled these guys out a little bit quicker, but that fight over there happened very quickly. I mean, they had a lot of high damage units, so if you blink and these guys get wiped out. If you're not careful. I'm sure they did a lot of value. They yeah, they definitely did. It's just that it was it all happened very quickly. I maybe could have brought out the the um, Kadai units a bit quicker. However, if I had done that, maybe they would have ended up getting take taking too much damage. So it's really hard to say what was right or wrong in that situation without you know playing it multiple times and it going basically the exact same way. The main thing here is that the guy didn't think the battle was winnable and they um, didn't even lose any units. So, yeah, that replenishment rate sucks. Got a bit of labor. Your money's looking good. I'll give you some more labor. You can never have, actually no, you can't have too much labor. Unfortunately, oh, okay, so what happened here? You were probably in your territory, and then they pushed you out of the way, because obviously you were never unable to, um, Withdraw, so I'm assuming you had withdrawn once already. So, no, no replenishment. That sucks. Looks like they had just sacked this settlement. Well, your forces should be in good enough shape to... Oh, they brought another army over. Let me just see something. Do you have an item that's actually better than the Demon Spike Crucible? Which is... Oh, that probably won't help us in this situation here, because it won't give him... Regen unless he goes into melee, but I was thinking of the where is it? It's got lots of items. Yeah, the crown of skulls. I guess you could just give him a potion of healing, cause perfect vigor. Do you even need that? You should have. Um... No, you don't have. What, what's it called? The um... campaigner. Eventually, you'll get that. That'll give you perfect vigor anyway. So that's actually kind of a crap item. <laughs> uh, I guess unless you want to give it to a hero. But anyway. That's the end of this one here, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. I don't think this is a difficult situation for him to sort out now. Should be able to just bring his army over here. Just, you know, keep the very badly damaged units out of it. Get some potion of healings in there and finish them off. Or maybe even go to Crookback Mountain. It's entirely up to you. Anyway, that's the end of this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. Appreciate you. And we'll see you next time. Later, guys.